a frantic rush to escape. We've just been given this mobile phone video. Yeah, this fire is absolutely out of control. It was filmed as the inferno closed in on Sunday. That's a house fire, that's a house fire. Pat Bernard, who got out just in time, showed me how he captured the moment his hometown was destroyed. The, the oh my entire God. town is on fire. It just spreads. Is it? Propatek is still burning. At first, the blaze picked out a few individual houses. And then Pat turned his phone to reveal the nightmare of how much of Yarnell was engulfed by flame. And nothing could stop it. I got my family out and I watched house after house explode. We saw 40 cars and propane tanks explode, pop off, blow off, and cars, barbecues were exploding. And uh, we, we, my son and I stayed till dark and watched dozens of houses burn to the ground. A memorial service for the 19 firefighters caught by the blaze. It's a devastating loss. And just before he died, one victim, Andrew Ashcraft, sent his wife this picture showing the team on their way towards the fire that was to claim their lives. It was out of the ordinary because he said, this is getting wild, and uh, People's Valley and Arnell are, are looking to burn. And that is, that is not uh, common language, because usually he gets a thrill from the fire, a thrill from being there and helping. And this was a different scenario. So why did this happen? Well, one cause is the jet stream passing far to the north of the United States. The result is high pressure causing record-breaking temperatures. Meanwhile, the southwest U.S. has warmed up since the 1950s. The fire season is two months longer than 30 years ago. And Arizona's population has gone up 25% in the past 10 years. More people living in tinderbox conditions. This is why the risk of fire is so great. There's just so much dead wood around and dried grass. All it takes is one lightning strike and this whole lot can go up. Add to that the wind, which just keeps changing direction, and there's a recipe for disaster. At the fire station where the 19 firefighters were based, tributes have been pouring in. Everyone here feels the loss, and because this community is surrounded by dry forest, they also understand the dangers. David Chuckman, BBC News, in Arizona.